Hey guys, Will Knack from Blue October here, bringing you something for the Hook series. And the riff I chose is Johnny Be Good by Chuck Berry. Before I get into that, I want to give two honorable mentions. First, it smells like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. And then the mind blowing Purple Haze by Jimi Hendrix. Both riffs I learned right before Johnny Be Good. But Johnny Be Good is the one that hooked me for multiple reasons. And let me just play the intro in B flat, mind you. So yes, uh, multiple reasons that rift hooked me. First of all, Back to the Future, what guitar player born in the mid 80s doesn't have that story? I, I don't know, find me one, I doubt you can. Uh, the other, my uncle played it and he showed me a version that was in A and the, the licks that he showed me were more reminiscent of what's actually in the solo of Johnny Be Good. Which is <laughs> um, anyway, I met Johnny X. Uh, a year after starting to play and he revamped he's like you gotta learn it in B flat and uh, that year he was um, the number one guitar sideman in the Austin Chronicle music poll uh, playing with everybody around town he's played on Rocky Erickson records Doug Somm records all sorts of stuff um, and he took me under his wing showed me that I started playing with bands that he was doing down at the hole in the wall off the drag in Austin Texas when I was 12 and the guys kind of realized like when the kid, the 12 year old would get up there and play Johnny Be Good behind his head, these old hippies would start throwing 20s, 50s, 100s in the tip jar. Boom, a light bulb went off their heads like, oh yeah, let's use this, let's make some money. And so I all of a sudden had this job and uh, I got to get up there and naively pursue my career um, at 12 years old, uh, not knowing much other than some Chuck Berry licks and some Nirvana songs. And they kept showing me the set list and I learned like venture stuff. and bunch of uh, classic uh, rock uh, rock and roll guitar catalog um, from the 50s and 60s um, but anyway uh, that just really really hooked me for multiple reasons it's just amazing I thought if I could play Johnny Be Good I would be the best guitar player in the world of course I learned to play it at 12 years old I was like oh my god now there's so much more because the more you know the more you know you don't know so it opened up the the rat's nest for me and as you know there's there's no end to it I like to try and bl blend a bunch of different genres and just take anything in that moves me to express myself. Um, but it's interesting that this song, uh, John B. Good, and some of the techniques and harmonic ideas and uh, still resonate and inform what I play currently. In fact, on the um, last Blue October record, um, This Is What I Live For, uh, there's a song, The Weatherman. And it starts and I use a double stop that has a fifth on the bottom, so it's fifth then root, and I let it uh, bloom into an oscillating delay thing, but here, here's the... So there's that riff, but that kind of comes from fifth in the bottom, root up top from Johnny Be Good. And then in uh, Oh My My, uh, our single that went top 10 off that record, which we're really grateful for during COVID to have that happen. Thank you guys at radio. Um, I do a double stop thing with thirds with our uh, violinist and mandolin guy, Ryan Delahousse. when you do this. And that is like double stops with thirds. Um, and then uh, lastly, the only guitar solo on the new record is on a song called Love Stupid. And the bending part in the chorus of Johnny Be Good where he goes, I do something where you take a static note and you bend the string underneath it up to that pitch. Add a little fuzz, it sounds so gritty like a dinosaur eating a car. Finally sunk his teeth into it, and uh, I had a little 
pitch whammy in there and do some stuff kind of like this. Let's see. So anyway, you can see how the stuff I learned in Johnny Be Good still informs what I do. And you can hear Chuck Berry's influence in rock and roll in all its genres, subgenres, and idioms. Um, it's just everywhere. Uh, smells like two three, that's, like, that's like the top part of the Johnny Be Good. You know? Um, anyhow, uh, I hope that 2021 is kinder to us all. Can't wait to get back on tour and rock for all you guys. And much love. Gotta love uh, Chuck Berry.